I'm on my computer a lot. Email, Google Docs, Google search, Snapchat. Technology has revolutionized our world. We can connect and learn and create and share. We have immediate, improved, and personalized access to the world. Nothing in our modern lives remains untouched by this powerful transformation, except for education. The big idea behind blended learning is combining online learning in brick and mortar schools with teachers where students can learn at their own pace so that they can optimize their individual learning. Combining the best of teacher instruction and computer-based instruction. The world that we live in today isn't about paper and pencil, it's about computers. Having our kids become comfortable and familiar with that now is going to better prepare them for the world when they leave the school. Blended learning can actually personalize for every student's individual needs to meet them where they are when they need it. We are doing students and ourselves a great disservice to assume they all learn in the same way. So we need something new, and that's blended learning. When you walk into a blended learning school, what you'll see is small groups of students off with their computers, working away on online learning programs, and another group of students in small groups doing rich interactive projects with each other and really collaborating as peers. I'm able to now focus on smaller groups of kids, give them more individual attention, and help them with their individual learning styles. They're not just stuck with a teacher in front of them, lecturing for hours. They get to move around in different clusters or learning by themselves. Before, you're moving at the pace of the average of your 30 kids. Now you can really move at the pace of each individual student. One of my problems is that I'll get bored because I'll be explaining something over and over again, and this gives me a way to continue to move forward. If you use computers right, if you're doing blended learning right, you're making learning an active experience rather than a passive experience. You can really tailor the instruction to students at their own pace. They're directing their own learning. We learn how to learn from your mistakes and depend on yourself. When they're able to critically think and feel like they're independent, they use that to propel themselves because now they're wanting it. Once I started using blended learning, it really pushed me to have a more fluid, dynamic classroom. It pushed me to be a better teacher. The teacher has the opportunity to look at data in the moment, in the minute, to know where our kids are immediately, informs instruction in the next period or the next morning. In a regular classroom, it might take a week for you to get your test back. I can take a test twice in one class, get my feedback almost instantly, and figure out what I need to improve on. You can see your progress, what you need to work on. It tells us our grades like that. Study more, learn more. They know if they're getting it or not, and if they're not getting it, they're taking more ownership. I'm spending a lot less of my time grading those quizzes and more of my time analyzing the data. I can see who gets it, who kind of gets it, and who really gets it. To get immediate feedback for students and teachers is something that is unbelievably empowering and actually motivating. It allows me to reflect more on data analysis. Looking at trends really helps me reflect on how I can be using my time wisely. And parents have real-time access to what their kids are doing on a day-by-day -day basis. To get my child's grades electronically is very important because I work every day. Blended learning makes you in charge of your pathway, which is both deeply motivating, but incredibly important to then knowing how to navigate college, career, and make those decisions for yourself about what you need and when you need it. And that's true learning and knowledge. It's when you're able to apply content into real life. Blended learning is really the democratization of education. It allows a student, regardless of their geographic region, their socioeconomic status, to really get the education that they deserve or that they want. The sky's the limit. We need to rethink education. The opportunity to harness the power of technology to personalize for every student is just an opportunity that we cannot miss. We had a low 500 API score. We're currently in the 730s. It's transforming the way we teach. Independence is really the game changer. You can challenge yourself. I've never seen my daughter this excited about learning. This is 21st century learning. All 50 million of America's students deserve the opportunity to have blended learning so that they can personalize their education and realize success in life. 50 million. 50 million, 50 million students. 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 50 million students in America. In America. 50 million students in America.